Hey, you all, this is going to be a Cancer, Capricorn, and Aries reading. I would usually do a singular, but for some reason, that trio stuck out to me. So, I don't know. Maybe it's in somebody's birth chart. Cancer, uh, Aries, and Capricorn. These witches working on uterine cancer. So if y'all know anybody that end up getting diagnosed with uterine cancer, tell them don't be so quick to go to radiation or none of that shit. You know, wait it out. See, it may go away naturally. You know, for real. I think they work based on what the moon is in. Like if the, whatever sign rules, whatever body part, that's the body part they work to give people certain cancers and stuff. So I don't know what's, when I'm going to be in Scorpio or something like that, but I rule in a private area. Something else is ruled by the private area. Maybe Aries may rule the phallus. I don't know. But my ancestors told me uterine cancer. That's what they trying to, you know, kill people with now, honey. See where y'all sit in this shit. I'm talking square bits to you bitches. Square, square bits. I'm talking love. That is square, square bits. I'm talking square bits to you bitches. I'm talking love. Daddy, 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 square bits. Square bits, square bits, square bits. I'm talking love to the cheek that is. I can imagine living life being a murderer in secret. That's a weird ass fucking shit. You're a murderer. Uh -huh. You're a vampire. <laughs> Just fucked up. Capricorn Cancer Aries. What a dooski boosties. I'm talking savage to fight back. Somebody getting a hot message, hot facts coming through your phone. Be patient. Might make you blow your top. Possibly a water sign energy. Could be your mama. Don't cuss out your mama. What does she need it? Some get in you, you know? Some should be overdue, you know what I'm saying? For real. Been obedient all this time. <laughs> Some others will take you there. The Bible say don't provoke your children. They don't read that part. They just read the obedient part. My mother say obey their parents. I say don't provoke your children. Shut up, girl. Okay, see you later. Bye. I mean, see you later. She ain't like bye, goodbye. See you later. Making investments. Seem like y'all ain't getting nowhere with that shit. Some of y'all done came to the end of the road with that dating shit. I'm about to give it up. <laughs> give it up, Bobby. You suck. <laughs> Look at this shit. Running to and fro, seeking whom you may break up with. Kind of shit. Lord have mercy. Handing out chest pains like a motherfucker, too. These motherfuckers be nuts. Anxiety. You got some of that? It's the witches. It's the witches. It is true. It is true. Yeah, some of y'all like, fuck this date shit. It just seems like y'all ain't getting nowhere. If y'all do try, it's something y'all got to deal with. 
this some of y'all got this some it's some unfinished in the area of, of relationships or love or something like that. Y'all ain't dealing with it. Y'all keep trying to move on to on to the next one. On to on on to the next. That ain't gonna work. You should, but not really. Now it's it's you got a deal. You got to transmute. Mm-hmm. Yep. Conflictual. You can't get a person that's just y'all. Some of y'all may still be on the friends with benefits, but end up with a baby. Friends with benefits, but end up in a whole ass bar brawl. You know what I'm saying? Friends with benefits, but end up with somebody fucking up your property, destroying your property. Friends with benefits, but it's always not worth it, you know? But somebody, some of y'all need companionship. It's just something natural that you feel kind of natural that you just need companionship. However, it's it's really not worth it. You keep ending up in a ten of swords. You like it's kind of like trauma on top of trauma. Put hurling yourself in a traumatic experiences you may be the type of person that can go into something and not get deeply involved with nobody which could make you appear which could make you appear narcissistic or like you a ghoster or a gaslighter or something like that but to me it feels like you just you ever just walk outside and end up walking into a spider web <laughs> You wasn't expecting that shit. It's kind of like y'all take life as it comes. And y'all, I guess it's kind of like y'all see it as being natural, a natural man or a natural woman. Just wanting somebody to kick it with or, you know, have sex with because it's a part of your nature, you know. I mean, you just see it as a nature thing. However, that shit end up fucking you up. So it's something that y'all are kind of ignoring that needs to be healed and you keep trying to go to earthly like be too earthly like no spiritual nothing some of y'all may have grew up really really spiritual and it's to the point where you don't want to deal with nothing spiritual could be a trigger for you it's not that you don't love god you just don't want to hear that you know it's like if somebody was to quote you a scripture or something maybe let's just say you i just saw somebody on social media you see a scripture, you roll the past it fast as hell, because it's just like, you know, too much of anything is no good. If they don't be so spiritual where you're no earthly good, but you don't want to be so earthly that you know spiritual good. And some of y'all are teetering that way. Just some of y'all based on how you were raised. You just don't want to be bothered. However, it's kind of like you not keeping up with your own darkness or your own... uh. Or what somebody may have transferred to you that you may not have even seen it that way before. You just seen it as you sleeping with people. And when it's over, it's over. It's a done deal. You know, you, you back to going to work and doing whatever it is that you do. Some of y'all may have left people in this type of shit. And you incur karma like that, whether you feel like you hurt them or not. Some of y'all say you overreacting. I ain't did shit. I told you what it was dealing about, cat and shit. Like, um, no, you kind of left this person in the fucking tailspin. So you got to read that shit. Some of y'all got to stop in your tracks and deal with something that's going on that y'all keep trying to put off because y'all don't even recognize it because you just live life on an everyday basis. Look in. Kind of like what? Look in my car? What you talking about? Look in. Kind of shit. Now that's too earthly. You, you just... Y'all got sick. Y'all must be raised real religious, some of y'all, because when I say, don't give a fuck, fuck. Don't ask about it. Don't bring it up. You know, for real. Because they'll fuck around and get the business kind of situation. For real. Kind of like since you grew up, every day is an off day from church or mosque or synagogue or something like that. And you don't want to be bothered. You don't hear that. However, some of y'all need to return back to your roots. Religion needs to tie one back. Some of y'all need to be tied back. You know, not necessarily to the people or nothing like that, but to God himself. Check in with yourself is the point. And if you feel like you're being anxious or something, then that's when you will find out people have been tampering with you. It could be people that you hurt that you feel like, why would they even do that? They knew what this was. Or it could be people unbeknownst to you. However, it's something that y'all are have ignored for a long ass time, and it ain't you can't ignore it no more. 
because everybody you link up with is a seven of swords and the universe is doing that to you for a reason you could even be doing it to yourself unbeknownst to you sometimes you know your soul know what you need your body and your mind is something totally fucking different it's more earthly you know for real like stop already because you get nowhere with these people not even a good time and move on it ends up like some shit you ain't never dealt with before you won't never got the time. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all last trip, whoever the last person y'all tried to maybe move towards in a passionate way, y'all got clarity. Y'all can y'all about to try something else. Y'all don't know what else, but damn sure ain't about to be that kind of situation, which will kind of make you have to be alone. And some of y'all may not like to be alone. You could fear your own thoughts. Kind of like you don't even know what to do with them motherfuckers. Like, what is all this? All that that you ignore? Flashback, who's that? Dancing to the latest. <laughs> Don't get swimming to your baby. Yeah, y'all get a heal, man. Somebody has a... You always want to work. If you younger listening to this... This is how I, I worked life out as far as healing was concerned. I always worked my life from the inside out. I don't give a fuck how I look to the outside world. I always knew that I was working inside. I don't care if I looked pretty, if I looked out of my fucking mind, if I looked too fat, if I looked too skinny. I wouldn't give a fuck. It's something going on. I know about it. And it's none of your business because it's an inward journey. By the time I'm done, though, the outward is going to match what's going on inward. But I'd rather be good in then focus so much on the outer. You understand? Always go in first. Don't go with that outer. Because it will fucking fuck you up. And you will be getting nowhere. And nothing will fulfill you. Nothing. No clothes. No name brand. No tennis shoes. No woman. No man. No nothing. Go in. As soon as you understand that something's going on. Deal with it early. You know, I'm talking coming out of your mama's house kind of shit. When you feel some shit that ain't right, start dealing with it at an early age. If you leave at 17, 18 years old, I left at 18. I started dealing with myself really at 18. It didn't matter. My mother took me to church and all of that. But at the end of the day, I had to do the work that I felt I needed to do on myself. Because I had been through different experiences in relationships, friends, other shit. Your parents don't know all that you go through. They can't hold your hand through life. And some shit that you go through that they ain't there to curtail. And that shit that you got to deal with. But if you ignore it and act like it ain't there, that shit going to become insurmountable. And then you're going to be wondering what the fuck is going on with your brain, your body, and everything else by the time you hit 25, 30. You understand? No matter how you look to the outside world, you can look crazy as a goddamn fruitcake. It does not matter. They're not in your inner world. Yeah, y'all get to work through some shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Patience is required. And some of y'all be wanting to get out of it. Some of y'all be having internal conflict so bad and you be wanting to run away from it and go to what you used to which is usually maybe a man a woman sex just a divergent tactic you can't divert no more you gotta dig in you gotta get to it you can't out slick yourself you really can't you gonna end up playing yourself trying to out slick yourself why would you try to out slick yourself you can't run from you i don't give a fuck where you go where you go there you are you understand Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of y'all really can't understand. Y'all cannot understand. My my first, my uh the pastor I grew up with, he used to say, a carnal mind cannot understand spiritual things. He used to say that on heavy repetition. It's true. Y'all don't be understanding why people do you the way that you do you. You know, kind of like, I was good to you, so why are you being bad? mean to me but your idea of good isn't that person's idea of good you may be a vibe where they end up falling for you kind of shit and once you awaken that in somebody it's hard for them to just be like okay i don't like you no more because clearly y'all likable motherfuckers 
But y'all don't understand. You bought me something to eat. I bought you something to eat. I did, I, I, I did this for you in the bedroom. You did this for me in the bedroom. I did this. You did that. You know? And then when you break free from the person, you like, shit. It's, it's even, Steven, where it used to maybe like that back in the day kind of shit. When things was cool. But now, uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. They don't see it that way. They don't see it. It's deeper. Which means there's something deeper going on within yourself that you're missing. That's why they do you like that, you know? Because it's time to retreat from that shit. It's not, it's just not working. Yeah, y'all, some of y'all be handing out y'all penis like it's government trades. Now it's like, some of y'all like, no, celibate. I don't blame you. There's no way to have human connection. I'm the type of person, I'm the same way. Human connection. I'm not necessarily, like, I'm a practical, logical person. Some of y'all may be practical and logical, too. Where I don't, you know, I may even allow the feminine aspect of me. Because in this world, you program as a girl to think about marriage and babies and everything. It's so Disney world. You can allow your mind to go there all you all it wants to. But at the end of the day, you need to retract it a little bit. Come on back to, you know, real life. What are you doing? Oh, that's you working every day? You know? <laughs> that's you carrying all these groceries in the house? Ain't nobody helping you? You got to get real with your motherfucking self. And if ain't nobody helping you, ain't nobody helping you. So you start putting things in prioritizing things, but it's gotten to the point in this dispensation of town where you can't just sleep with anybody because people get attached, especially if you're a good person and you fair and you equitable. Just in, you're just fair dealings. You nice to me, I'm nice to you. You don't hurt me, I'm not going to try to hurt you. Just baseline shit. People can't do, can't fit, they don't feel that no more. They get attached immediately. And now everything is Come be with me and run away some motherfucking where. What movies have you been watching? Men, even with this shit, man, it's just not women. You can't just have a good time and go the fuck head on. You know? When it's like that and when you train yourself to be like that as a woman, because they say women are emotional creatures, blah, blah, blah. Not everybody. When you train yourself a certain type of way, then you will know when your true love shows up, because you know damn well, you don't even take it there. You understand? For real. Like, oh, this has been a minute since I've been feeling high school shit. You know, that's that, uh, or even junior high school. That's puberty. You go body going through all type of changes. You know what I'm saying? Just something else right here. Some of y'all may be have come into that and don't even know what the fuck to do. It's real conflictual because you're just so used to dealing with some hit it and quit it, have a good time, move on, meet somebody at the club, take them home, then shit else, you know? Some of y'all been doing that shit for a long time and it is not working for you. You got to get to the heart of what the fuck is going on. It'll show me maybe what's going on. Maybe. I say it because ain't no telling who, you know? <laughs> not, oh, this channel, let me tell you something. Could be Michael Jackson, could be Malcolm X, could be Billy Holiday, could be Tupac, could be Janis Joplin, could be Audrey Hepburn, could be Teddy Pendergrass, could be Elvis, you feel me? So I don't get off into all of that, call it, hey, well, this ain't no damn, this ain't that, this ain't entertainment purposes. I know who it is, but I don't go off into that. Usually I find out once I click this off, sometimes I do. And then I don't even care because all is all, right? It's no separation. It's a fucking illusion. Anyway, security. It's Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all working on your own security. Yeah, but y'all keep going money. You keep going money. You got to go mind. And then you got to go heart. Why Why are you thinking what you're thinking? What is going on? You know? Some of y'all work to ignore. You can't ignore it. It'll turn into a disease. Whether that's mental health issues or whether it's, you know, something in your body. You got to deal, okay? Whoever you are, it doesn't matter. Your sign. Cancer.
Mm -hmm. Some of y'all cancers deal with high levels of anxiety because if y'all sleep, let me tell you something about <laughs> sleeping around <laughs> as a man. You will get you will get rooted. Roots is still real. Don't look at that shit like it's back in the day. This shit is still real. People still practice these things. And you will be rooted and not even know it. For real. And trapped in a cycle of promiscuity. For real. You won't have to be touched, molested, or nothing. You will just be trapped in a cycle of promiscuity based on people putting roots on your ass. And you won't even know they doing it. Until something ain't right. Things don't add up. And to me, things aren't adding up because people don't know kind of just how to be natural, have sex, and, oh, it's a good time, okay, nothing came of it. And, you know, may even remain friends, but you understand that it ain't like that, you know? Everybody don't have those maturity levels. Some of y'all do, but y'all don't understand that everybody does not. Everybody doesn't think like you, none of that. And at one point in time, they may have, but this is a different day and time. Some of y'all may have recognized the change of people in 2017, 2018, where you couldn't just sleep with anybody and end up being this motherfucker flattening your tire, busting your windows, all kind of shit. Like, this shit ain't never happened to me. I was just able to sleep with people and go ahead about my business. Oh, no. No, no more. Something is trying to get your attention. And if you deal with high levels of anxiety being a cancer, you rule by the moon. If you get rooted by a whole bunch of witches just because your mindset was one way oh your soul gonna tell a story because it's gonna be tied up and you don't know because you so busy just dwelling on something earthly you see what i'm saying it's kind of like some of y'all categorize life it's it's good but then again it ain't it's it's a it's a weird vibe i'm picking up Look at shit real black and white. Kind of real left brain. Mm-hmm. People don't want to let go after y'all get them some loving. Gotta get some loving. I can give it some loving. Because people are, they not making connection. Some of y'all are real personable people. People just like y'all. But then you end up in the bed with them. Everybody... What I also learned in life, everybody is not to be slept with. Some people are for you to just be cool with them. Everybody, sometimes it's just a vibe. You just get a drink with somebody and just have, end up beating guy with all the friends that's girls. And they'll either think you gay or sleeping with all of them. And it ain't none of that shit. Everybody ain't for you to jump in the bed with. You know, some people just for you to give a good word to. Or maybe buy them something to eat because they said, you know. Some of y'all seem to be a, a strong shoulder to lean on. Whether you are a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But you end up reading into it. You ain't read into it at all. You just end up in situations maybe where it shouldn't have even went there. But this this how you kick it. Real, uh, what's that, fragmented to a degree? It's something going on, and it's connected to sex, passion. And once you over it, you over it. But people be feeling like this. And people will go around and tell people you like this and you will not understand it. Like, why? why? I ain't do shit. What the fuck they talking about? I hurt them. I was good to them. Kind <laughs> of <This> shit. <laughs> they like, uh, I don't fucking think so. I'm fucking ghosting me or da 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 da. Well, you really just don't have attachment issues, more than likely. Because you may have not found the person for you. As of yet. Hmm. <sighs> this deep. Some of y'all cancers. Aries hiding, but y'all gonna come out. Passion. Passion fruits. Let's say the devil. Ooh. <laughs> What's over with that Aries devil? Lord have mercy, cancer again. Some of y'all practice celibacy, holding y'all self. This what this is. But some people ain't so free to get that shit out. Like, no, I'm holding myself because I don't have time for the shit to come along with me just, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you would think somebody is a potential mate. Sex works two ways. It either acts as an intoxicant or it acts as a realization. So since you see this somebody and you gone, but hey, listen, we is together. When is the wedding? Kind of shit. <laughs> Other times, 
you see, oh, I ain't about to be with this motherfucker. And it really don't be having nothing to do with a sex game or whatever you want to call that stupid shit. It have all to do with you just see them exactly for who they are after you had sex with them. You don't want to be bothered. Them, them type of motherfuckers, you was really supposed to stay friends with, for real. <laughs> but them the type of motherfuckers that are go around telling people you ain't shit. <laughs> and then you get dudes talking about you wasn't saying that you was sucking my dick. <laughs> like, oh my God, so cliche. <laughs> Somebody smoking so weed. Oh my goodness. High off the contact smoke the uh, Aries. Smoking. Like some ganja. Who left the gate out? Just wanna go in reverse. I ain't gonna cap to you. So you know, dealing with some women that are insecure. Some people can't have children. They fucked up in the head maybe about that. Lack self-confidence. Lack of growth. You can't grow with this person. Domineering tendencies. Want to be the man. You ain't never got the time. Carelessness. Irresponsible. <laughs> Sarah election of duty. Damn. And emotionalism. That's that shit. You see? And you will end up in a situation with a person like that for 20 years. For real. And it wasn't even supposed to go that way. Whole life turned upside down. And if that's the case with some of y'all, y'all just had a baby mama that would not knock it off kind of shit. Empress in reverse. It's nothing that you can do to help this person. It's something that they have to do. They have to do the work within themselves. Just like you do. It ain't no different. It's nothing that you can do for them. It's an attachment issue. They trying to fill a void by having a person there, but there's somebody dealing with heavy amounts of fear. Fear and anxiety go together like hand and glove. Like scared of their own thoughts. Scared of they it's somebody doing witchcraft. This shit, man, Dre, you motherfucking crazy. Somebody y'all was married to, possibly. This is just not, it's not gonna work. And it could be the reason that some of y'all just end up being lackadaisical in the area of companionship. Just friends with benefits. Y'all loved when that shit came out. Y'all fucked around and was doing it before it became popular. And it worked. It stopped working. Because people start doing it too much. It became the, the, the norm. But people aren't mature enough to do that shit. Men or women. They'll try to say it's just women. That's a lie. Some women can part ways and they got... See, this ain't going nowhere. I keep bringing these groceries in the house, this, that, and that, and it ain't no benefits to this friendship outside of getting banged after 12 midnight. You hear me? When it's like that, ain't nobody, a, a mature woman, see, there ain't no value to that, and go the fuck head on. This ain't going nowhere. And, I mean, it's cool. The sex is great, but no. Kind of shit. Then you got some women that get lost and turned up. Got some men, same motherfucking way, get lost and turned out with a woman that knows I'm, you're not for me. Please go the fuck at all. You know, those type of women deal with possessive men too. Do flatten their tires, all that stupid shit too. This shit real. People be trying to avoid that inner work, but you with yourself 24 goddamn seven. How in the fuck can you avoid you? Do you know how much trouble you can get into trying to avoid you? Where you're at, there you are. Motherfucker, you not you can't do that. You can't cut your fucking wrist, get into cutting and all this stuff. That's the okay, now look at you, bleed. Now look, you get scarred up. What are you doing that for? Who are you mad at? You know? Yourself? Deal with it. Or God. Cause sometimes people be mad at God. And when they be mad at God, they really get into some stupid shit. To avoid having that conversation. A straight up talk with God. You know, not coming in a way that you extra pious and acting extra humble, false humility and all of this. Holla at him. In my Jay-Z voice, if I was God, holla at me. You hear me? Because he already know all about you anyway, pump faker. Kind of situation. Then blew out your kneecaps and ain't got nowhere still. 
And then a blank envelope too. Cause you ain't keeping it one hundred. A burden. Witchcraft is a burden to the world. It really is. If anybody feeling like that, oh, I feel you 110%. I was just having that conversation with myself. Well, before I turned this on, like, damn, this shit is a burden. It's terrible. Because it's a bunch of fucking scary ass people doing shit to people and you just end up dying or shit, bad shit end up happening to you. But you got to act like it's either God doing it or just a freak ass accident. But people coming into the knowledge and people been in, some people know that this is what people do. You know what I'm saying? For real. Don't second guess it at all. Ain't no doubt in my mind. You understand? For real. And once God reveals certain stuff to you, or your ancestors even reveal certain stuff to you, you're not second guessing that because it all it adds up. It makes sense. Lies don't make sense. They really don't. That's why they gotta keep up with it. Do this, do that, cover and all this shit. Mix truth with falsehood. Mix you up, fuck you up. You know, like, hold up a minute, shit. Somebody is burdened. Y'all gotta let it go. And just deal with whatever, you know, devastation that you have been ignoring that's behind you. Collateral damage kind of shit that y'all ain't paying attention to. Some of y'all are really, really, people would think y'all are narcissistic, but I don't think so. I think some of y'all are just cut to be non-attached. You know, whatever life has taught you thus far, you don't have a problem. You know, parting ways with people. For real. Some of y'all Capricorns may be stuck in nostalgia where you attached to your childhood as far as like people you grew up with and shit. You still got people in your phone that you was in fucking third grade with kind of shit. That's where y'all get fucked up at. However, as far as man and woman is concerned, Aries and Cancer, you may be the same way. Don't have a problem detaching, moving on. Some people do. Some of y'all do not. And you don't understand what the fucking big deal is. You know, I'm not with you, now I'm with her. I'm not with him, now I'm with him. You know, or now I'm with her. Whatever the case may be. And, you know, go ahead. Y'all leaving a whole lot of people behind that don't see it that way. And y'all is having a hard time understanding what in the fuck is wrong. It's really a maturity level. For some people it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then y'all get bored. When y'all get bored, y'all you know, make rash decisions. But you gotta look within. There's something inside going on that you gotta deal with. Only you know. Y'all could have buried it, tucked it off. That's why you gotta look in. You're find it. seeking you shall find. You hear me? It becomes really, really it, it becomes fun to a degree when you observe your inner world. Because it'll teach you so much about yourself that you did not know. And when you start learning about yourself, it makes you uninterested in other people that you know aren't going to be a part of your story. For real, it really do. That's when you start getting rid of contacts in your phone. <laughs> hmm. Come up again. Some of y'all may end up getting text messages testing y'all's ass if you celibate. <laughs> like, ooh, this is something I can go get right quick. Like, yeah, you gonna end up with a flat tire. You gonna fuck around. It's a slippery slope outside. Oh, yes, the fuck it is. This ain't kidding and quitting, Bill. No, you gonna come up shout. Somebody about to do something. They done either put somebody in your path to fuck up your business, your money, your mind, your marriage, your every goddamn thing. Shit your ass down. It ain't shit to be done out here. Sorry, you're gonna have to get connection with yourself. Because there's no human to have it with unless you got children. And if they took them with this little kidnapping shit going on, honey, baby, yourself, your God, nature, connect to music, the instrument, may need to master another one or something if you play one. You know, get into yourself and you will see how much of a muse you are. You know, untap, so much untapped potential. Because you real earthly. Some of y'all are real earthly. Cancers and Aries. Capricorn, I mean, you're earth signs. Some of y'all are 
real earthly. And I ain't talking like, you know, like sin or none of that shit. No, just earthly. In the perfect world, would none be wrong. Emotional intelligence. Exactly. And it'll come off narcissistic. No. And some of y'all just depend on God. So man kind of, you know, you may look at man obscured, but you shouldn't, that's weird too. Too much of anything is no good and it will make you come off like a fucking narcissist. It really will. Emotional intelligence will make you come off like a narcissist because you're so practical, you're so logical, you don't see it like that. I did this, you did that. Real black and white, left brain, not right brain, not creative, no. Mm -mm. Logic, practicality. What are you talking about? You sound stupid and fuck around and say that shit and hurt somebody's feelings that's trapped in their fucking emotionalism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Moving to calmer waters. Things calming down, calm after a storm, overcoming difficulties, relief, stability, escape, travel. Some of y'all may have thought, some of y'all may have met somebody that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see, because it feels like a little bit of both. Or it could be wanting to move on with somebody, just calmer waters, not no bullshit. Some of y'all could be ready to be faithful. And y'all sell a bit first because y'all serious about somebody. Somebody may have awakened something in you that helped you to tap into your spiritual side or your emotional center where it ain't just emotional intelligence, but really feeling your feelings. Some of y'all done tucked off a lot of shit where you really don't think you got trauma and you got so much trauma that you forgot about it. You know, you just live in life. Could be a hustler, a go-getter, whatever. Some of y'all were uh, investment oriented, money you know, especially if you're an entrepreneur, when you're an entrepreneur, you can get lost in making money. And before you know it, your whole goddamn uh, emotional body has suffered. Your emotions have suffered. And being a cancer, that's not good because y'all will turn into fucking a block of ice. Just like this. And I know you all of those things, but never really show it. Where it'll you will trick yourself to think that you are these things. You will know you are, but as far as exhibiting them, no. And a woman, maybe that's a little bit uh, emotionally centered, would tell you, yeah, you're cold as ice, kind of shit. You will say, oh, I'm mature, I'm compassionate, I'm caring, I'm friendly. You know, I forgive, I'm diplomatic, <laughs> I'm charming, <laughs> like what? <laughs> you you what? And start literally laughing, but you think that you is that, but you're not executing it on the outside of yourself. In the inside of yourself, you're telling yourself you are these things, but you're not, <laughs> you're not exercising it on people too much, <laughs> <laughs> compassion calls for you to, to hug people and shit you ain't about to be doing that shit <laughs> a pat, hard pat on the back kind of shit <laughs> <laughs> hell no Remind me of that scene in Harlem Nights where uh, after telling me, may I love me, please, where are so? Uh, Eddie Bar Uncle Eddie. <laughs> 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 and somebody drank all the orange juice over her house. Well, why would you drink all of this? If you think like that in the container, he didn't know. He didn't know how to apologize to her because it is like that. He was like that. In himself, he is compassionate. He is honey. Let me tell you something. 
He <laughs> making strides in this capacity, like, and he just hit her on her shoulder. You heard it. It was like a smack. He didn't. He didn't know how to hug her. He didn't know how to really say sorry. That shit was silly as fuck. This one just came up in my mind, y'all. I'm sorry, but I can't unsee it. <laughs> just the best y'all got. Just imagine that as a man. A woman to just pour her heart out to you. Everything. And you're like, what? You mean, that's how you feel? And all you got for it is a slap on the shoulder. But you sincere as hell. You really is sorry. <laughs> she, she expected a hug. A warm embrace. <laughs> the last of connection around this bitch. Woo! This is deep, man. This is silly as hell. Hell no. So y'all is in pain, pain. Ooh, been ignoring it? Oh no. Oh no. Some of y'all thought y'all was moving all the karma waters with somebody. And y'all mad? Y'all done found... Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> Scratch a life out of the thing, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I could. Y'all got to split up. Y'all can't sit in with zombies together no more. Aries, Capricorns, and Cancers. Hell no. Y'all thought it was all good and moving straight into a three. Of, I'm telling you, that's what I feel. <coughs> Your pain is compounded. Like for real. And then it ends up turning into betrayals. And then you end up ghosting them. And a storyline and a narrative is out here in the streets about some of y'all. 4144 on the clock. Hell no. <laughs> some of y'all done went into alienation. Because people that spread the word that you ain't shit kind of situation. You're like, where is they getting this from? I pay for the food kind of shit. <laughs> Everything you got receipts on, but baby, mm -mm. that ain't what they talking about, okay? Y'all thought y'all was moving all the karma waters with somebody, baby. What I tell you, smack dab into goddamn three of swords. Damn, got to deal with grief, sorrow, restlessness, anxiety, confusion, mental disorder, <laughs> that shit, variations. But this is a lot of shit that should be all ignored when y'all was younger. Shit happened. We just put that shit on the back burner like a motherfucker. Talk about some, let's get this money, baby. <laughs> y'all try to go back to that. That ain't working either. God will put a hole in your money bag. He will. Dry it up so you can deal with yourself. Because you ain't going to have no success. If you do, it ain't going to be enjoyable once you get to where you're going. <clears throat> For real. <coughs> That's some silly shit. <laughs> now they got you, man. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all was with witches and warlocks. Y'all got bound up. You don't let nobody touch your soul? No. No, you ain't, people ignore their gut instinct. It don't matter. Let me tell you something. Both times that I got married, I woke up and realized I fucked up. Once I realized I fucked up, I made a choice and decision the day after I got married, I'm getting out of this. It may take me some time. And while I'm getting out of this, I'm going to learn the lesson in not doing or making rash decisions or not allowing other people to make decisions for my life. You understand? Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Uh-uh. <laughs> it ain't happening, bro. And I back up out that motherfucker. I made my bed. Oh, I'm going to lay in that motherfucker. Trust and know that. But when I get up, you'll be able to bounce a penny off of it because it's going to be made up and it's going to be good. And I did it for myself. Some people will realize they fucked up and keep trying to play the game. When you do that, you fucking up. That's why I said, <coughs> you got to listen to your gut. It don't matter whether you was married or not. 
you know when some shit going somewhere and when it ain't. And sometimes you deluding yourself because you're just trying to either go with the status quo, what look right, listen to the pressure from your mama, your father, your family. When you going to get married, when you go married, you got to have baby, you got to do this, you got to do that. Hold up a minute. Do you really love this person? You know? Because if you don't, then... <clears throat> but some of y'all was free. Excuse me, a little bit too free. <clears throat> you don't let nobody get close to your soul. And y'all let people get close to your soul. Wasn't looking at it from a spiritual aspect, just having sex. Meanwhile, making connection. Also making love, <laughs> but that ain't your person kind of shit. Okay, that can go wrong as fuck. For real, you don't want to do that. Keep shit in perspective. I don't give a damn how good it feel. It's just a good feeling. And that can leave you with how many years of responsibility if you're not pregnant. I'm talking to me too, because you pregnant too, because you're gonna have to pay for it. Hello, somebody. Don't let nobody just don't be just out here. Take me, baby. I'm yours. Got this shit. Like, I know you lying. Mm -mm. Not if your gut's saying this is just a friend situation. <clears throat> For real. You don't want to do that. Okay? Because it leaves you feeling trapped, confused, cornered. <laughs> Hands tied. Now you playing victim. You playing victim now. Like the person that you are trying to understand what, what you're talking about. This is a fair trade. You see what I'm saying? Y'all feeling all that shit. Because y'all was in a hole. Ignorance is really blissful. Sometimes it really is. You oblivious. Till you know. You don't know till you know. But you done fucked up, you know? You be saying, who the fuck? And if you can't remember names, you really in a situation. Because it's just been that many. <clears throat> Based off of dealing with empresses in reverse, it turns you off from relationships altogether. So you just start sleeping with people because it was a nature call thing. But you end up getting yourself soul tied. Now you apathetic. Can't feel nothing. May have turned to drinking, you know? But it's something there. There's somebody who's trying to get you to see that you're not seeing, and it's really yourself. <clears throat> For real. The universe. Something higher than yourself is trying to get you to see yourself. It could be God himself. It could be an ancestor. It could be an angel. You see it coming out of the cloud. A hand offering a cup of love that you need to be offering to yourself instead of always offering it to somebody else. You understand? Because some of y'all, is just a vibe and people get like really attached <clears throat> because you are fair in earthly dealings. <clears throat> I don't owe nobody shit. Probably say that. You know? Somebody saying, I know you like any shit. Give me my sex back. I'm like, what? You hear me? <clears throat> Peaceful resolution, moving on, compromise, communication, ending conflict. So it's about to be an end to the conflict. You're going to end it. <coughs> internal conflict. Because internal conflict gets worse when you don't want to really pay attention to what your body, your mind, and your soul is trying to tell you. You're trying to get away from it. How? How are you going to do that? What are you going to go do? You know, that's how you get yourself in situations. <clears throat> and before you know it, oh, that ain't nothing. I was just trying to uh, not look at you. Somebody real mad at y'all. Demonic as fuck. Possibly somebody watching this that think they know me and mad at me for whatever reason. Dealing with a Capricorn, Aries, or Cancer. <coughs> <clears throat> but they don't know me. Death plots and all this old weird ass shit. These are scared to death Negroes.
of their own self. Mm -hmm. Then did too much. So they just ended up lashing out, lashing out, lashing out, lashing out, lashing out. And at a certain point, God ain't going to allow you to keep lashing out on somebody that ain't lashing out at you. And your ass going to get your ass a one-way ticket to the grave or the penitentiary or Nuttyville. <clears throat> and some of y'all dealing with the same shit. Women, men that y'all have dealt with, that y'all are done with, if you done, God will back you on being done. It don't matter how they feel. And if they keep projecting on you and keep doing shit to you and keep agitating you, God will either kill them, put them, subdue them one way or another. Because at the end of the day, every tub got to stand on its own bottom. And you got to turn in, bitch. For real. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Because you'll get yourself killed. Keep coming for people. Because you don't know how to compose your anger or to do some transmute it. Uh, channel it. Do something. <clears throat> it was a good time. Move on. Or it could have turned into a bad time. That once was a good time. It is no more. It is in the past. Move the fuck on and turn the fuck in. Yourself is trying to tell you something. People abusing other people. The fuck? Potential for abundance. <clears throat> Some of y'all may have um, a new beginning in a job, a business. Y'all don't have no problem in that area. That ain't shit, but y'all always want to skip to that. That's a problem. This is your use to get away from yourself, making money. Your money going to dry up in a minute. Why do people equate being blessed with having money? Not necessarily, because if you don't have health, Especially mental health. Your ass is not blessed at all. You're going to be fucking nuts. Okay. God will stop you in your tracks from working. The universe itself will. I don't feel like people think they stopping my money. They doing shit so that I don't make any money. However, I'm starting to learn. The more I'm quiet and I sit, I don't have a problem. I sit with myself all fucking day long. They're like, what the fuck is she doing? Minding my fucking business. I train myself this way. I said since I was around 17 or 18 years old, just stay in and look at me. That's when I know a lot of people be full of shit. <clears throat> The universe literally is saying to me, you have worked so much and you did so much good and it's not no bullshit. You're not going to be, it's no working for you. It's like, okay, but I live in a country that I have to provide for myself. Well, you just got to see what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Like literally can't work because I've been too much of a worker for humanity, for myself. I mean, it's crazy, and I'm not over-exaggerating. Some of y'all just turn towards money and work that way, and it will come where God will say, no, you got to figure it out because either you've been too good to people and stuff like that, where it's time for you to just work on yourself if you have not. <clears throat> you may be like me. <clears throat> I was working on myself and making money simultaneously. Nobody had to know. I was a quiet person. It's nobody's business. I'm dealing with me. I'm dealing with some shit, man. And I never shared. That's why I share now because I don't want to die with nothing. I don't want to die knowing anything. When I cross over, I want to have a free paradise with no memory of none of this shit that I've endured. So why would I not share it with people so that they can either be inspired, either feel affirmed, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot that can help people when you share what you've been through and you're not embarrassed. You don't have no shame, no nothing. This is life and life will touch you. I don't give a damn about saying I was raped by a husband. Maybe he felt a certain type of way, but what the fuck that got to do with me? Cause he didn't give a fuck how I was feeling when I was down now. You see what I'm saying? I got shit to do with me. And because I train myself to stay in. I heal faster than a lot of people. 
They can throw me in and out of mental hospitals for 30 years. It did not matter. All I'm going to do is find people in there to commune with, converse with, because there's some beautiful people that be in mental facilities, actually. It's not a big deal. I'm not taking the meds, so what the fuck? It's a vacation, as far as I see it. And it could have been the universe using them again to put me on a vacation away from their motherfucking ass while they thought they was doing something. Preserving me. That's all a prison does, just like that's all a marriage does. Just preserve you. Teamwork. Yeah, y'all keep going to to material. That's weird. What about me getting into an apprenticeship, learning some research? Why are you equating it to earthly things? Why are you why are you avoiding yourself? It's a problem. <laughs> if it's a problem, the universe gonna keep giving you the solution. Sit down, and look at yourself. You sit down and don't you move. I just said that before I turned it down. I just sound like a black mama in a hair salon. You sit down and you know you move. <laughs> Some of y'all keep trying to go chase the bag. Some of y'all about to bottom out. Ain't gonna be no chase no bag. Uh uh-uh, uh, you gonna be chasing the trauma. Let's see what the fuck is wrong with you. Why do you keep looking at apprenticeships and uh goals? Why are you so goal oriented? Y'all really are goal oriented. It's crazy. <laughs> I need you to keep that same energy when you laying in your bed and can't go to sleep. Sometimes it's good to journal. Some of y'all may want to get into journaling. For real. Pick up something that will help you get out. If you can't stay inside of your mind, if it's kind of difficult, you go into mental chatter and it makes you want to run away from yourself. It's something that you have to do. You could do vision boarding to see what you really want. Dreams deferred. I mean, you can do journaling to write out your thoughts, whatever is coming, whatever is in your mind, let it come out through the pen. For real, you'd be surprised. You can go read that shit like, what the fuck? Trust me, I went through millions of journals. Crazy. When I was in mental hospital when my mother was alive, she always bring me a journal. By the time she come back, it's about filled front to back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God got y'all in a chicken wing. <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> Don't you move. <laughs> Some of y'all feel limited. And then y'all watching other people. You don't know what them people going through. More than likely, they're using a diversion tactic to get away from doing the work. And you're like, oh, look at so-and-so. They all successful doing anything. I'm about to get into it. No, you're not. <laughs> you're about to see what's going on. Because you're going to end up sabotaging something. You really is. For real. <laughs> I don't know why y'all got me so tickled. <laughs> trying to avoid the work oh okay i'm about to clean up my community oh really that's not a problem but that's not everything y'all is in a weird y'all is in a weird fuck bitches get money mindset all the time do something i want to save the world start by saving yourself that is so hypocritical charity starts at home you can't be sitting up there trying to save the world and you a rat. And you don't even want to look at the fact that you are one because you're so uh, goal-oriented. That's crazy. I want to be a philanthropist, really. <laughs> you can. I'm not saying you can't. However, you got to deal with yourself. Y'all got some pain going on. And y'all not dealing with it. It's true. So tied up, all kind of shit. And then some of y'all get through it. You may do something, may play an instrument, may listen to music, may call yourself taking a vacation, doing something that kind of puts you in touch with yourself a little bit, but it's kind of like you don't even know how. 
Like some of y'all like, damn, can you teach me how to get to myself? Can this shit? For real. Ain't that crazy? Well, don't be looking at me. <laughs> you right there. There is yourself. Deal. When you get up, when you brushing your teeth, everything. It's kind of like, I can see this. It's kind of like a child that always wants something to do so they don't have to deal with themselves. This is say, sit here and don't you move. Always got to have something going on. What's popping? What's the lady? What's going on? Like, no, sit down before God embarrasses you. He don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all ain't dealing with the loss of a parent. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all may have lost a parent to witchcraft or some shit like that. And no, that's what happened. I don't underestimate what happens to people, and I don't underestimate people's gut instinct, and I don't underestimate what people know. I don't underestimate what people may not share that they know. You understand? Because the motherfucker ain't with you. Ain't nobody with you all day but you. I don't give a fuck if you married, got children, whatever. Ain't nobody with you all day but you. And some of y'all got to deal with this loss going on. For real. In y'all families. Y'all thought it was a happy family. Y'all go to a family reunion. Y'all think everything's straight. You know? For real. Mm-hmm. Yep. And some of y'all take this and think this is it. For real, and but go right back to whatever it is that y'all was doing that's not going to get you where you need to be. There's no time limit on healing. You cannot be like, okay, I'm cool. Oh, no, the fuck you ain't. <clears throat> you would think you is, but you do not be cool. So, <laughs> for real, for real, and it's, it's, it's even for me, I ain't never out here like, oh, I'm everything cool. I'm cool. No, I'm not codependent on someone else to transmute for me or to listen to me. Mm -mm, I got a mouth. I can talk to a chair if I just want to get it out. You understand? It's nice to have a therapist on the other side, but I've already been to therapy. And I'm going to go back, but it's going to be on a spiritual note. And it's going to be somebody that I check in with, but it ain't going to be in no network. I already did that. <laughs> you understand? It's required for something deeper for me, but I'm not going to discourage somebody else. If that's what you feel like you got to do, do it. But when your therapist ain't there, what the fuck you going to do? Call the suicide line kind of shit? I mean, come on. You can talk out loud all day long if you don't like to journal or if you don't like to talk to other people. Talk to your motherfucking self and you don't know who is there listening. Because ancestors are very real. Angels are very real. It's just for you to tap in. You know? Some of y'all don't even say, what's going on, mom? What's going on, dad? Whatever. Whoever passed away. Some of y'all lost a parent. One parent. It's a mother or a father. Should have lost both, but y'all don't even tap in. You could tap in laying in your bed. For real. Ancestors is like God. They are no respecter of person. As long as you haven't been in order in it where they had to give you over to God because you have become that disobedient and that loose and wild and just out of control where God had to intervene in the affairs. You understand? However, some of y'all was a mama's boy, daddy's girl kind of situation, but act like they just dad, that was it. You never knew them. That's some trickery for your ass. And get a deal, man. Some of y'all heard from a grandmother that acted as a mother and acted like she never existed. That's weird. You gotta, you gotta come to grips with that kind of stuff and grieving. You constantly grieve, but 
you know, I think it does become a point where, you know, it's not as rough as people say it may be. Like, it never gets better. Sometimes it never gets better because people don't be connected to their ancestor. They act like it never existed. I mean, if you act like somebody never existed, I guess it would last forever. You fooling yourself. And you're going to keep crying. Because <laughs> you act like it never happened. If you act like somebody never existed, then that's kind of like you saying that death never happened. That's delusional. And you are going to keep crying until you deal with the, re the reality that this person is no longer here on this earth realm. But that don't mean that you can't connect with them. Shit. What? That sounds crazy. Me and my mother and father be up in here laughing all the time. For real. Grandparents, everybody, whoever. It does not matter. I don't care what people say. The fuck would you do that for? You'll be in a world of trouble. You care about what everybody gets to say about you. Fear of change. Indecisiveness. Restricted choices. Some of y'all fear change. What? Losing shit? If y'all only had the two of wands, who give a fuck? You ain't getting nowhere because you ain't dealing with something. That's what you want change to happen. And your choice is being restricted because you are ignoring something within. Like for real. Overly critical, pessimistic, lacking, empathy, rude, malicious language. Who's doing that? Let's just see. Traditional institutions, traditional values, tradition, consistency, marriage, commitment, religion, faith, social groups, education, knowledge. Okay, y'all dealt with people that was pessimistic, overly critical, rude, malicious language. Who cares? It's a trigger. Get over it. If you let every trigger remain a trigger, you won't even be able to function in life. You understand? Some shit is just a trigger. And if this channel is triggering for you, then don't watch it anymore. However, sometimes a trigger is to point you to exactly where the pain lies at. And sometimes a trigger is showing your hypocrisy because you are the one that was rude. You were the one that had malicious language. But when somebody does that to you, you just can't take it. Okay, well, who give a fuck deal? Don't come with that shit now. I don't like that condition, but can't take it shit. What the fuck? Is you a man or a mouse? Is you a woman or a damn baby kind of shit? Because everybody want to act grown around this motherfucker. Hello, somebody. Spiritual enlightenment, soul searching, self reflection, interest. Yeah, that's what y'all moving towards. Inner guidance and solitude. Mm hmm. On on the punishment. But just think, if y'all in a if y'all in a union or y'all met somebody or y'all are to meet somebody, whoever y'all have met or had not met yet, that's supposed to be your life partner. They have to literally wait on you. Think how they feel. Cause you just keep refusing to turn in. And some of y'all think you could go to a church and sit there and something's going to happen and nothing happens but the choir singing and the preacher preaching. You fuck around and fall asleep in there because that's the only peace you can get. When you're in church the next time, just look around at how many people are actually asleep because it's the only peace that they get. This is real. <laughs> like if I just let the pastor talk and the choir sing when I come out of here, you know, it lasts for a minute. You go get something to eat and then you get nervous because it's time to go home and be by yourself again. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> you still got a deal, man. Take that lantern and look within. It doesn't matter. What are you scared of? All that is is all of your accumulated experiences. Whether this life or the past life. Some of y'all may be so stopped up. You only thinking about the bitch you slept with last weekend. Got it, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> start there. Something is better than that. <laughs> Once you start feeling back, babe, man, let me tell you something. <laughs> be like, whoa. This 
just happened to me. It just happened to me. Oh, shit. My mama died. <laughs> my daddy actually go. I thought he was going to call my phone. to a block of damn ice for real <laughs> somebody birthday 110 that is so damn funny <laughs> yeah y'all wanna hurry up and heal go just do <laughs> sorry but join something else for real somebody know that Church. <laughs> Go get that food. You be cool. You know how I know? Because I stay in. <laughs> I know. I know. Go to church. Be serious. Here. Ooh, it's good. Ooh. And I ain't, I ain't have my son until I was 34. So I was always by myself. Most of my life, this was me by myself. You ain't about to see me with nobody all the time. But no, no, no. Oh, no. You gonna see me by myself all the time, so I understand. <laughs> Even as a, a teenager, oh, oh it's sad to be by myself. <laughs> Leaving church with that fool, I said, "Oh, uh oh, we get to the end of the meal. Everybody about to leave. <laughs> it's only about to be me. That's when you get off into they say the devil's playground." It's when you ain't got shit to do. You hear me? That's when you start getting into shit because you want to deal with yourself. And you got to challenge yourself. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Forget that. One, one, one. Somebody's birthday? Forget that. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to look at myself. I ain't about to keep on diverting. These people ain't going to be around forever. That's the conversations I used to have with myself. These people, my mother ain't always going to be here. This, this ain't, like, innately I knew. This ain't going to be forever. This These family gatherings and stuff, this ain't going to last. Because they don't even last when we in them. It's always time to go after the family reunion. I got to be back home in a minute. Damn, this weekend went by fast. But I did enjoy it. That's how you learn to be present. And then once you're present, you realize shit don't be lasting as long. as it. And they say, you know... If you don't deal with that that type of way, you will always be looking for something to stimulate you. A party, a reunion, a class reunion. Let me go with any wild, a ball, any goddamn thing where there's people. But there's always an end to that night where you're about to be left alone by yourself. You hear me? And that's how you end up with a whole bunch of different people in your damn bed. They say, you know, your tire is busting this night. You're trying to figure out why the fuck would you do that? You know, but then sometimes you give y'all something to do, so then you just end up finding a kick out of that. Because you're just getting off into shit, because you don't want to deal. 113, somebody's birthday. It's in Capricorn, y'all telling y'all something, ain't you? Cancer started, Aries want to play the back. So Aries don't listen to demonic energy. Y'all don't know how to control y'all anger. Who problem is that? Yours. And if you lash out on other people with that shit, you gotta watch that being ruled by Mars. You're a war. You can become a warmonger. Lame game. It's everybody else. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. And before you know it, you wigged out. You out your fucking mind. I'm not lying. And you're gonna have to pay for this shit that you do when you out of your fucking mind, man. Whether you want to or not, it does not matter. You did it like a motherfucker. Hasty. You know, think you can hurry up and do this and then, all right, everything all right. And some of y'all may have gotten that off for a long time by the grace and mercy of God, but it ended up working against you. You know? For real. Hold on, y'all. There's a lot of noise outside. They touring cars like crazy. It's like as soon as people buy cars, they gone. 
But ain't I'm talking about that now? Is God just stopping people in their tracks? You can't ain't even about to be able to drive. You got to deal with yourself. Because I've got things to do. This is God talking. <laughs> Can't you hear baby shit you? I'm not about to keep on having reunions with you. Who is you? So you be on your people on the thing. Okay. Somebody birthday 114. People just so gone on Cheerio. What they can see. Now they about to have to deal with what they ain't been looking at. <laughs> What's going on in their life? You know? Don't get caught up in no words and somebody malicious and this and that. That's blame game. You a baby. You got out of shit with that. Oh, I can't take you being mean to me. But you can do it to other people? I don't think so, honey. I don't think so. That's not realistic. For real. And sometimes you will go in and out of consciousness when you haven't done the work. Shadow work is really, really, it's, 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 I don't know the word I want to use. It's a sensitive thing. It's not, it's not a joke. Because some people die doing shadow work because it's that intense. You know, take your time weeding through the rubbish of whatever the fuck you've incurred in this lifetime. And the deeper you go, the more you get into past life regressions, things that happened to you in your past that you carry with you into this lifetime, you know, but you can only deal with what you can deal with, which is the surface of whatever it is that's the top layer of your shadows, so just say it's the last thing that you had to deal with, that you tried to divert your attention from your trauma or things that happened to you that should have been grieved. Prop losing property. Somebody towing, getting their car towed right now, that's grief. They got to deal with that. But in, in America, they don't look at it like that. It just keep going. But the person whose car is getting towed, they have to grieve that car. They have to grieve loss. You have to grieve when you get kicked out of spots. Evicted, put out. Shit, you got to grieve that. For real. It's a loss. And a human being is even more of a loss. And people will act like that never happened. Yes, it did. <laughs> you tripping. I don't think it could just R.I.P. to death on, you know, Mother's Day, Christmas, and Easter. Or Father's Day, you know. Or go to the gravesite, and that's it. Okay, well. You know, it's over. Ain't nothing there, no. Real earthly. That's hurtful to an ancestor. Like, damn, you trying to say I never, so I ain't teach you nothing. Ain't none of me in you, no parts of nothing. Fuck me? Really? Because this how it'll feel. Stands out for what you believe. Fighting for your corner. Protectiveness, defensiveness, assertiveness, challenge, oppositional stamina, asserting oneself, maintaining control, territory. Those are some things that y'all have to learn. Self, A self-healing journey is one of the most beautiful journeys you'll ever go on. It's not all peaches and cream. But it ain't all bad either. And you'll learn to enjoy your own company. And you'll learn to enjoy how God created you. And you will learn to enjoy the things that shaped you. Whether good or bad, it doesn't matter. You're able to look at it and see and observe and be an awe at your own self for real. That's how you build self-worth, self-value, self-esteem, where your ego ain't doing no capping. You know, you just... Uh, you know, may go off your looks. God will take your looks. Something that you got. You're not looking. I'm going to take these. I'm going to take the vanity. All this stuff. Now look at what, what are you going to do? And when you start dealing with yourself, then you'll see how beautiful you start looking on the outside. For real. 
Some people play their music loud like that because they don't like to hear their thoughts. This is real. Sometimes it works in the opposite way. If you're a person like me that stays in silence or really don't talk to people, I just talk out loud. Sometimes I have to go to sleep two words because I'm just that empty and it kind of feel weird. Like, okay, this is kind of crazy. It's like nothing. It's like just always being asleep by an ocean. Like that can get kind of, I need to hear something. You know, it don't matter what, it doesn't matter what's playing. You know, when I'm asleep, I don't know. It doesn't affect me. And sometimes I just have to hear something. Because I don't hear nothing, you know? Some people hear a whole bunch. And that's why they turn their music up that loud. So they don't have to hear their own thoughts. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> it's true. Now they deaf. Now you gotta go to the ear doctor and that shit. Like, now you got another problem. Do you see yourself? <laughs> I'm just saying. <sighs> Moving on. Mm-hmm. I'm so quick to move on. Y'all really are. Uh-huh. Childhood. Y'all walking right into your childhood, too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just to come back, you know? Ain't that crazy? Go through all that shit. Just to have to come right fucking back. The circle of life. Ain't no way around that shit. Ain't no way around that shit. You hear me? For real. Mm-hmm. But if this is in you, and you get in your car and drive, or walk away, or get on the phone, or do whatever it is that you're doing to divert from this energy sitting inside of your chest or your mind or whatever, it ain't went either. And now you chain up. Because the more people you have sex with, the more you do it, it ain't doing nothing but binding you up more. It's you doing it to you. Ain't nobody doing nothing to you. What do men say? Women know more than any damn body. What the fuck do they say? I ain't put no gun in your head. I ain't, you ain't had to do nothing. You... Okay? So you coming right back to that what you trying to turn away from. So many people in prison, jail... Uh, uh, cause it is a difference. The grave, uh, mental hospitals, nursing homes, because they did shit in a hasty way, popping off because they were so scared to deal with their own motherfucking demons for real in terms of mental health issues. You know, then they had secrets. And then they have obsessions. They get people talking about them. Paranoia. Deception. Deceive they self. That they didn't do nothing. Now it's the blame game. Now it's all projecting. Then you got dependency. On people. Sex. Money. Drugs. Food. Religion. I mean. It's, it's, this is America where I'm at. I don't know where you at. You get what you need. 24-7. Oh God bondage and get further further into bondage ain't that crazy that's a tailspin for your ass but you're gonna have to deal with yourself now or later it does not matter it don't matter if something was deeply rooted in your childhood okay get in line get to the back of the line bruh sus kind of shit what do that got to do with you dealing with it and then people feel powerless because you've been thinking that you was powerful, but you was being ruled by your ego. An out of control ego. And more than likely, somebody pulled your coattail too. And somebody could have pulled your coattail to it in childhood that you ignored. And it could have been apparent that you was being disobedient and pompous about it. And the devil reared his ugly head in you then. 
Now it's out of control. Now you got a murder case kind of shit. Because you decided. For real. Abuse, violence, aggression. All of that stuff is bondage. For real. And it ain't getting to nothing. Well, okay, you going all that for what? You being aggressive, all right. Abusive, okay. You know what I'm saying? I just had... I was on the last reading I did, um, what was that? Scorpio's reading was kind of long, Scorpio's reading. And I said, oh, you need to massage your man's chest area because he got heart, something going on with the heart area. It's just a lot of stress and anxiety. And when I got off of there and I was remaking my um, one of my necklaces, one of my mouth beads necklaces, some showed me a man he had a thought to make a woman do that for him that did not want him. You gonna rub my chest. I'm talking about going to her head kind of shit. You gonna rub my chest like you, you said to rub it. Weird. You see how far gone you can get when you don't want to deal with yourself? And if that thought comes up, a lot of people will act on that shit. Some thoughts are just thoughts. Where are they being derived from? Where did they come from? What have you been watching on TV? What have you been feeding off of? Who have you been around? Who has been in your ear gate? Who has been in your eye gate? What has been going on with you? What are you doing? And why do you have to act on every fucking thought that comes in your mind, but just you don't want to deal with the corrupt thought that you're having in the first place? It is just a thought, and you do not have to act on it. You really don't. You choose. You decide. It. Move on. <laughs> and deal with your demons, because it's just a thought. No matter how low vibe it is, it's true. Some people really think they are horrible people just by the thoughts that they think, but they don't take into consideration what they're consuming. What are you taking in? <laughs> you know, what are you going to sleep to? What are you watching? What are you reading? What are you feeding your body, your mind, your soul? What are you doing? For real, they will literally be the worst person in the world because of a thought, and a thought is coming up based off of what they watch on TV, kind of shit. Like what? <laughs> For real, I tell the story about a girl that came up to me when I was in one mental facility, and she was like deformed, like her arm was short. She was a really pretty girl, and she was like, "I touch children." Just told me this. I clear blue skies. Like what? Like, why you come to tell me this shit? <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here chilling. Like, why you do that? I don't know. Was you ever molested? No. Well, why do you touch children? I don't know. Do you watch porn? Yeah. Why? Because you can't find a date because of your deformity? Yeah. You watch it a lot? Yeah. Well, that's why you're touching children. The children are honest. They are around you. And you're a very beautiful girl, and there's nothing wrong with you. You just have an arm deformity. That was the only thing that she had. But that turned men off, clearly. It made her, people convince her that something was wrong with her. How the fuck is something wrong with something wrong with her arm? Not something wrong with her. So her life, because she wasn't anything wrong with her, she just ended up always being around children. But she still was a natural woman. She was in her 20s, it looked like. Okay, so she got into porn. She started acting out on whoever was around. You see that? Just from an arm deformity, it turned into that shit. Okay, so you gotta be real careful. <coughs> For real. She had an aha uh -huh moment. She just walked away like that. Clearly, she hadn't been caught for it yet however i can see that she wasn't going to do that no more and i said are you going to stop she said yeah because basically i understand now why i'm doing that 
You know? And I told her, you're pretty. I, don't know, I mean, that's just, it's just a fucking arm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. Then who gonna love you? Gonna love you regardless. Of one deformity? Give me a fucking break. You're a whole ass woman sitting up here. And she said, I ain't never touching no kids. But you know, this is all praises to the law, you know? Vision. Mm hmm. <laughs> Y'all going back to vision? <laughs> Without it, you're going to perish. But I'm just saying, y'all don't get too overzealous. Some of y'all need to balance yourself out. It's something that y'all constantly go over the top. And it's always linked to goals, vision, da 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 Okay. You got to deal with yourself. And you got to get some balance. Where it's not all healing, healing, healing. Or it ain't all vision, vision, vision. But everything is chase the bag, chase the bag, chase the bag. No. Chasing, chase that bag. <laughs> okay, then what? After that's over, you're gonna come to the end of the night and still have to deal with yourself. You're like, oh, here we go with this man shit again. Like, okay, and it's gonna be with you. <laughs> and if you mad at God, let him know, you know? For real. Or whoever. Send this shit. Who is it today? Routine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Practical, loyal, responsible, persistent, protective, defensive, conservative, stubborn, ambitious, hardworking, profitable, finish what you start. You see that? That's to me like a mental health issue within itself. So go or everything is 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 connected to a legacy building. I gotta get to and I gotta have this together, and I gotta uh, 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 listen. Where your mama at? <laughs> Where your daddy? Where your grandmama? Somebody died. Somebody died. Y'all not dealing with it. More y'all than not. You ain't dealing with it. You ain't dealing with it. You steadily deterring and diverting to. Chase the bag. I gotta get my platform. I gotta work on this. Everybody doing this. No, I gotta do this. Not necessarily so. And God gonna keep stopping your ass in your tracks till you get that you need some form of balance in your life. Independent. Well, ooh, the women tell it though they self too. Ooh, oh, the whip bag. Independent. Throw your hands up that bag. Independent success, financial stability. For some reason, people think that's how God showed them that he loved them. Like, uh, maybe you're just a hard-working motherfucker and you ain't sat down to realize how hard you've been working and a lot of shit done happen while you've been busting these goals. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. For real. For real. You got a deal. Everything ain't no goddamn legacy building, business, and God do this, God do that. Because somebody waiting on somebody to get it together. Okay? For real. And ain't nobody already, ain't going to have it 100% together. And some people do that shit. Well, I ain't good enough for this person and this and that. And just like, come on, don't tell me that lame ass shit now. Come on. I be about sick of that shit. Motherfucker been saying that shit since I was born. Oh, well, I ain't good enough for oh, him. No, you just don't want to do the work because that person sees you. And you ain't really been with nobody that sees you. You know how to bump and grind, but that's about it. Okay? Somebody sees you. Now deal with well, whatever it is that you know you got going on, but you ain't never about to come to nobody all the way healed up. No, but don't nobody want no motherfucking build a bear either. You denying every fucking thing that somebody telling you that they see in you or that you're doing that's annoying as fuck. And it's a reason you're doing that, like cheating kind of shit. It is so, it's some people that's not tolerating that. And you will have some men that won't compromise because they're so afraid of their inner demons. And what's, what's, what is, the aftermath of sleeping with so many people never really took the time to you detach. However, 
the person lingers, especially if you got a whole bunch of motherfuckers in your phone that you didn't had sex with. That's a clear indicator. Beep. Amen. Fire detector that need a battery. For real. Look at it. That's all you get to do. So you catch a child or not, because God gonna make you catch one. For real. You could think you safe. Ain't nobody safe around this motherfucker. <laughs> Mm-mm, honey. Not if you ain't dealing. Not if you ain't getting to that root. You see that root on there? All the women in the pen dirt, all the hands up and burr. All the mama, the clock, and the lock, all your hands up and burr. Girl, I didn't know you could get down like that. Charlie, how your angels get down like that? Yeah, some people will lose their man if they lose their luxury. And guess what? In order for them to find themselves, they're going to have to lose their luxury to lose their man. Mm-hmm. You heard what I said. Some people do not know life without luxury. Some people do not know life without I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you, niggas. You ain't gonna go back and forth with nobody. But are you really living your best life just because you have material possessions? If you think so, if your answer is yes to God, he may say, Oh, really? Oh, well, let's see. Let's see how I feel to lose it. Then what you going to do is you going to lose it. Some people may. For real. Because their identity is attached to stuff. And without that stuff, people are going to see me out here. There. Everything about me, what I did, my secrets, this and that. And a lot of times it ain't that bad. It's just the world has become full of actresses and actors. Stages interpretations of this day. Can we give it up for Miss Moore Hill about this motherfucker? Then you got somebody that some people that are really they done acted out all kind of shit that ain't had no business and they're gonna get dealt with. Trust and know that. You would think you're the worst motherfucker in the world, and this show bear people go see you out here looking like bond for me. And that ain't even a case. Okay. A lot of people had abortions on you. Okay, give me a break with these stupid ass secrets that don't even mean shit. For real. Because, honey, you probably more likely than a saint than a sinner with that shit. Because look at the world. Who want to keep bringing them up in here? To make them great actors and actresses too? And the beat goes on? I don't fucking think so. Mm-hmm. Unexpected changes, financial ruin, huge losses. I'm trying to tell you. And some of y'all saw the value of a woman or the value of a man. The value of companionship. And took some L's in life and all of that. But had to take a L with a person to realize the value of human life. Because some of y'all do detach like, I mean, it's good. But then again, it can come across narcissistic. But if you're not interested in somebody after you've had a sexual encounter with them, you're just not interested in them. That's a part of your maturity. However, anything, too much of anything, you got to, you still got to deal with what's left behind that's tied to you. These women or men that can't let go kind of situation, dependency issues, emphasis in reverse, self-esteem issues, childhood trauma issues that they have to deal with too. God is just going to start taking people all that shit. So that you can look at yourself. This is what he gave you a conscience for. I just said that on another reading. It's there for a reason. For you to keep up with yourself. The hell? It ain't your therapist's job to keep up with your damn conscious awareness. It's really not. It ain't a tarot reader's job either. It ain't nobody's job but your own. 
as a fellow human, you give a, another fellow human a helping hand of God leading you and guiding you to do that, or that's your expertise or whatever you call yourself. But most people, if you didn't know, therapists need therapists. This is a known fact. Because people are selling dumping on them, then they have to in turn dump on someone else. At what point are you going to start dealing with your own shit? And it ain't about job security and all this whole stupid ass shit. God about to deal. I'm trying to tell you. And it's going to be on a material level. Because people then got so tied up in material that they don't know life without that shit. Everything is a conversation about their trip they're going on and this and that and that and this. And God really don't care at a certain point when your inner world has gotten so crazy that he has to come and literally see what are you doing kind of situation. You ain't grown enough yet. You are made in my image and likeness. I don't have to babysit you. I don't want to. Hello, somebody. What parent like a grown ass man sleeping in her house? I don't give a fuck how much you love your child. At some point, you want to get up and go do something with themselves. Because you didn't taught them all that you know to teach them. Ain't nothing else to do. You got everything. What else you want? You want me to do the work for you? I don't think so. Marriage. That's the end result. That's going to be the end result. Marriage. For real. Marriage going to turn into a vibe. But not in a weird way, you know, where it becomes a trend and you're just doing it. Like the Bible say, they would be taking a marriage at the end of the day. It's not like that. But really people, you know, uh, Embracing monogamy, embracing fidelity. Because what the fuck? What is cheating? You're diverting. It's a burden. You're going to keep up with all that shit. And then deal with hurt women, bitter women, malicious language, talking to you crazy, trying to take your manhood. Did you see it? She's emasculating me. And this and that. La, 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 la. Yo, she got her own money. She don't need me no more. Dude, look at all this shit. Like, come on, man. You got some shit to deal with. And it's not as bad as you think. Stop making it so like it's like it's torment <laughs> to learn about yourself and to see why your your mechanics work that way. You know, why am I, why my brain be doing this? <laughs> why be keep doing this same old shit? Why I keep sabotaging? What is going on with me? I need to understand. I'm about to start observing myself more. You see, it doesn't have to be such a task. It's actually a cool thing, you know. For real, it really is. You got to learn how to be patient with yourself. And you can't be sitting up there beating up on yourself just because, okay, when you was younger, you sold drugs. Okay. Okay, and? After you did that, then what did you do to clear up that karma? A lot of adult boys knew to do some good, whether it was for their mama, their community, the old lady down the street. They better do some good, okay? Because you just be on their ass. When they see somebody mama still fucked up from the dope that went down in the 80s or the 90s. She's still out here fucked up in 2000 something. Like, man, I mean, I saw her dope. And you going back into that shit. Man, fuck all that shit, man. Ain't nobody put a gun to her head kind of situation. I understand. However, everybody got to stand on their own two feet. Soul salvation. Your soul salvation is your... Homework. Everybody, every single solitary person. When you live in the ghetto, you will see so many things. Drunks, prostitutes, all kind of shit. But that don't got nothing to do with you. A person ain't ready to change until they ready to change. What do that got to do with you? And if you sold them something and you felt guilty about it and you made amends with that, however you made amends with it, and some of y'all know what y'all did to make amends with certain shit. That's it. Don't keep on beating up on yourself with something that's already been made amends with. You got a whole bunch of other shit to deal with. What's up with grandmama that died? Oh, you forgot she died? What about your dad? You 
You thought he was gonna call you. He ain't gonna call you on the phone. <laughs> you got the deal, man. For real. You got to deal with the love lost. You get to deal with the things that people did to you in the areas of what was so-called love or wasn't. You got to deal with the children and all this shit that come out of certain shit. And why would I do this? I just, I just messed this up and blah, blah, blah. Man, that shit could go on for days. But some of y'all are going to deal, thank God. And at the end of it, it's going to be marriage. And what's crazy, some of y'all could have this could be all you ever wanted was to be married for some people. True story to somebody that you really love. That could have been what you wanted your whole life. Not money, not all this shit, but just a solid ass bestie kind of shit that you could call husband or that you could call wife. And it's just not happening because you keep getting into this self-sabotaging behavior. For real. It don't even matter if people do swap of uh where they'll see that was supposed to be your man and then that was a man then shit happened and you end up having kids with them and then it took you off this way and it dumped you over here. It doesn't matter. Allah knows all. It does not matter. And you will get what you want. And some of y'all just want a decent partner. Some of you and you are going to get that. For real. Sometimes you come to shit happens a certain type of way, but it all ends up working together for the good. It really do. You just can't get stuck in experiences. It happened. Um, unfold it. Unwrap it. Because that's what the fuck you're going to have to do when you get married, when you get bored with your mate and don't realize they wake up a new person every day. Something happened to change that person, even if it said they got a day older. Sometimes a day older for some people is a day wiser, a day more enlightened. You don't see shit how they seen it yesterday. When you start unwrapping painful experiences, you'll get in the habit of unwrapping one person because we're so busy, always looking for something new, the next hot babe. Type of situation. Up, uh, that didn't work. Guess I'm going to start dating you now. Hey, what's going on? What you got to do? Put a knife in my back. What if you know that? Why you that? Deal with yourself. Deal with yourself. Let me get you some oracle messages. I said, man, be so quick to run to some of the stimuli. When you look, even on social media, when you really look at a lion or looking at a tiger, you see people that have a tiger on a set or a lion or they just out, even in Africa, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can see that people get beside themselves. I told Allah, people should really, uh, I've always did this, put a space between me and God. I don't never want to get to think I know God like that. You know, for real. This would say you get too comfortable with your parents. You got to keep it tight on certain situations. I don't want to ever get comfortable enough to think that I created a lion. So I'm always at all with what Allah created. Because I know I'm just, I was, man was left dominion over it. To master it, to be over to me. He left you over it. And look what you're doing. Well, he left you over, but yet... You will look at an animal like you created it. You real comfortable with that lion. That's crazy. You real comfortable with that elephant. Have you ever took the time to look at it and see that you can never do nothing like that? To me, that's how you keep reverence for God and don't get beside yourself and start thinking you are him. <laughs> you could not create that lion. I don't give a damn what you do. Actually look at it. Look at his eyes. Look at everything. And it will take your breath away. With somebody that's been around it their whole damn life. Because you didn't get that damn comfortable. With God. Where's the reverence at? Keep a little space. So you will always know, okay, I ain't do that. I'm just the master. Oh, wow. You got to be the master over this thing. Look at you. 
that's when nature started talking back. We were like, whoa. I used to look at my cat. I say, hey, pretty girl, you the prettiest thing I ever seen. Look at what God did. You got to tell. Look at your eyes. Look at your print. Sometimes cats have hearts all over them in their fur. You be like, look at this, man. This is crazy. Look what God has goggled you up, catty chick. But that's me keeping myself in check that I don't ever get beside myself to say that I'm, I'm the all in all. Give me a break. And some people be like, wow, they're real comfortable with everything. <laughs> That's when that guy complex start kicking in. That's when them Hitlers start kicking in and that other shit that you don't want to be bothered with. That, that pinky in the brain and shit. That's the next thing you know, you in handcuffs. You don't understand. <laughs> for real. For real. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that have a heavy influence on people, and it's a lot of people. Just imagine I be seeing stars on the stage and there's all these people in the crowd and they are all by your one little self that can take that and fuck you up for real you always gotta remember everybody got a bliss something greater than you to come up with this because you did not you can't even, you only want to deal with that your mama died. You understand me? Your daddy dad fuck around and take you out if you really was to deal with it. That's some real shit. That's your humanity. You got to keep that in perspective. of driving yourself crazy. Man, getting God away so much and me and the law be sitting here some days and I'm like, why well, you see that? They just be getting your way all the time. It is crazy. Even when I know people in my business thinking they helping me. No, you're not. You playing God and you about to get in trouble. I know how to run my life. And I law know how to run my life more than anyone. If I got him, I mean, security is good, but sometimes this shit get annoying. For real. Because you you doing too much. And you causing uh, static where there was none because I have a direct connection to my God. And I don't even call on him because I know he be busy and I'm considerate. And I know that I'm a grain of sand in the grand scheme of things. Throat chakra, express your truth. Furred and feathered friends. <laughs> she of the lotus. <laughs> is beautiful man <laughs> balance forces <laughs> that is so cute ether yeah the seamless unspeakable separation is an illusion seamless unspeakable <laughs> talk to me y'all internal explorer some of y'all ready now it's fine it really is even when you hit a bump you be like damn somebody hit you you gotta transmute lay it down for a couple of days you be like ooh. but when you come out of it you be saying well i'm stronger than what i thought you know i'm stronger way stronger than what i thought water the overflow interpret to your emotional centers I mean, I need water around. If you a fixed sign, who's fixed? Aries Cardinal, you definitely need water around. Um, Capricorn Cardinal, too, you need water around. Cancer is mutable. 
you don't need water, but you got to tap into your emotions. Some of y'all became like a block of ice. But when I say water around, maybe like a little water. They had those little waterfall things where you could just plug it in and it constantly, you can hear it in your house, that kind of stuff. Or just a bowl of water sitting kind of inconspicuously somewhere. But something that just got to make you more, you got to tap into your fluidity. You just like you all stuck with concrete. Break it up. Break it up. Tap into your compassion, your emotions. Endless opportunities, yeah. <laughs> it is in your internal world. Oh, yeah. For real. It really is. Life begins to look way more vibrant, more colorful. Trees look greener than you ever seen. Animals look cooler than they ever look. Like, whoa, I ain't never seen no bird look like that, man. For real. One day I was driving to work. Oh, I was about 23 years old. Driving to work. And these birds just, I just saw a bird. Like, it was like it was dancing for me. And I just cried, 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 cried. I couldn't stop crying. I was like, oh my God, you're the most beautiful thing I ever seen. And then a bird hit my, hit my window when I was driving. And you know, you're driving on the freeway, just smacked, boom, in my window to kill itself. I was like, what the? It couldn't stop crying in. Like, you know, when you stay inside, for some reason, it makes the outside world way more vivacious and vibrant and whoa, you know, for real. When you try to always look for simuli, it makes everything dull. Because you so, you you just out here looking for something to titillate you. And it's just like nothing is doing it for you. Like, all oh, this stuff, damn, you ain't. Man, you by that big ass tree. You don't even notice the roots on it or nothing, the leaves or nothing. Pick a leaf off. Take it with you. Look at it. Mm -mm, people could do that. They gonna look for they ain't paying attention to that tree. They try to find some trees of marijuana or something, honey, something else. I ain't well prostitute. Give me some out of any goddamn thing. I look at that. No. Stop. Communication, co creation. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you really start creating the, the world that you want and not the one that you may have been told that you can have or the one that you've seen other people with, the program bullshit. Some people sitting up here right now in a mansion and wish they was in a small ass high rise somewhere in the sky. You hear me? For real. Why would you go get that when my buddy had told me about this real talk? Like, oh man. <laughs> look, now look at you. <laughs> Know what you, you don't even know what you like. Looking at everybody else. High heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it's gonna get you. That's what it's gonna get you. It ain't it ain't something to run from. This ain't man, I should mentor myself this whole time. Yeah. It ain't so bad being you, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. Feel yourself ripping and running, doing all kinds of shit with everybody else, and they ain't even looking inside of yourself and scared to. Our ancient future. Some of y'all have been doing the work and y'all tapping into past life regressions and seeing how it's coming together, you know? Some of y'all may end up with somebody that y'all was with in a past life, which would make this y'all ancient future. But it's kind of like present, just being here, right here, right now. And y'all may end up in eternity with this person. You know, you can't just be like, oh, that's not, that's not. Like, there you go. Throwing God in a box again, and you don't even know about a box. You have boxes here, you replicated it. Yeah. <laughs> but yet, you're throwing them in it. That's kind of crazy. Don't do that. Ooh. Beyond the mind. Y'all got glass breaking, all kinds of stuff going on. Beyond the mind, yes. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Get to here. High heart. Some of y'all heart is high. High heart, to me, means it's untouchable. Kind of like the two of swords. You don't want to get to it. My cat is in here. 
She be making all the noise. She be doing all the stuff she was doing when she was in a physical form. She was such a comedian, too. Mm-hmm. Portal, the portal keeper. <laughs> I be like, girl. <laughs> she was just, it was like she here, for real. Like, her body ain't here, but baby, what I tell you, everything she do, she up in that window, she doing that, she make that glass, do that. I'm telling you, everything, everything, the same thing. <laughs> the portal keeper, okay. You ain't killing nothing. What you thought? What is you talking about? <sighs> Sacral chakra. Mm-hmm. Y'all only gonna be with this person. Whoever y'all end up marrying, that's all y'all gonna be with. Y'all ain't gonna be, if y'all celibate now, y'all ain't gonna be with nobody else but this person. Yep. And don't care. Oh, yeah. It's cool. You see that infinity sign? You see that infinity sign? Y'all see that? Where the snakes is at? It's an infinity sign right there. It's a forever thing, baby. You say nothing lasts forever? No. Clearly the body don't. Okay. Awaken awareness. Somebody is so high. Probably an Aries too. High is a kite. Eyes, but it's red. Mm-hmm. Confirmation, the infinite. Mm-hmm. This is who y'all going into eternity with. Yes, think outside the box, beyond the mind. Mm-hmm. Core of creation, yeah. Could have been y'all partner from the core of creation. Yes. Ain't that crazy? From the core of creation, whoever y'all end up with was y'all partner. It don't matter about past life, who you were supposed to be with, this and that, that and this. No, I'm telling y'all right here, right now, whoever y'all marry, some of y'all may be married, and you know what I'm saying is resonating for you. And you're like, dang, I kind of feel like this is, I'm really going to be in heaven with this dude or this woman or whatever. Yes, because that was your person from the core of creation. If you not marry, who you marry Yes. So if you are celibate, continue to be that until you meet who you know. Because you know yourself. And you know you know how to detach. And you know when something is just a call of nature. And not the real deep, the core of creation. Whoa. Whoa. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'm talking no high level soul mate I ain't talking no none of that shit core of creation possible twin flame cause the core is it's hot like, right, this is like blazing look fiery down there star seed elemental <laughs> this cute little fae <laughs> I love elementals. <laughs> they be all around too. They work with animals. Y'all better pay attention. Star C elementals. Some of y'all got children. It's Star C elementals. Little fairies, but they come in human form. For real. But their whole essence is that of a fae because they are one. It be a whole all deck, all hands on deck situation. For real. You may end up getting what it known. Yeah, it's a human. But it's <laughs> the gnome for the court of creation. You was a fan. He was a gnome. <laughs> look at you. Look at, look at that. The fan and the gnome. Star seer. Mm -hmm. Fire. Fire element. One to pop. Realm bridger. Just really tell y'all what you are. Show me all the realm bridgers. Like a cat. Portal keeper, realm bridger. Bring people together. Mm-hmm. From the physical, spiritual. Put You can put people back in touch with their ancestors or back in touch with their soul family or whatever. People that are on the other side. You, you, you like the realm bridger between heaven and earth. 
Mm-hmm. So we got our star shears. That can be intimidating for some people. They look at it in a wagged out kind of way. Some of y'all that got locks or star seers. You could just see somebody's star quality. You could know. Uh, fuck around and be your job. You could just tell. <laughs> they be saying to some people, some people job ain't that because they be the told somebody, uh, you'll never make it in Hollywood. That's not a star seer. This is just a rude motherfucker. <laughs> For real. I mean, you didn't see it. I mean, some people have an eye to see it right away. Nobody even know. Like, well, you a star. Like, what? For real. You a star shooter if you can do that. Soul star chakra. Merging with the divine. It's about that time, ain't it? Some of y'all. Some of y'all with a Sagittarius. Some of y'all Sagittarius watching this. Soul Star Chakra. It's a chakra, Soul Star. Could be the tenth chakra, Soul Star Chakra. Home. Mm-hmm. Y'all know. Does the person feel like home? Like you've been with them for a long ass time. Like literally from the foundation of the world, this was your mate. For real. That's why I don't be so like, when they say, it's plenty of other people out here. You ain't got to. And you will see some people like, but, you know, kind of like, no, but this is him. This is her. No, I understand what you're saying. But no, it's different kind of shit. Some people won't even say it, but they'll feel it. And they'll go home and go on and listen to the opinion of others and end up in a whole ass situation. Another marriage, every damn thing. Ain't that crazy? Y'all know this person feel like home, especially if you in separation and you in a twin flame dynamic. You knew it upon me now. Like, oh, God, you finally came? Shit. <sighs> you got first time meeting up, just go to sleep. Like, y'all been together forever. That's how you know. Can't nobody tell you that ain't real. Like, why would you allow somebody to trick you like that? This lady said this. Auntie said this on Instagram, and she was dead right. She said, when God tell me something, I don't ask the opinion of man. They All they got is opinions. And they're going to end up leading me off the path that I know God is going to be on the uh, going to be on the other side of what he told me. If I know God going to meet me on the other side of what he told me, why do I need to ask your opinion about anything for you to pull me off the path so I can't get to the other side where God is? And he telling me to go. It's true. You do not want to get too many people in your ear, especially in areas of love. You know what you know, and that's it. And ain't no need to keep on trying to explain or prove what you know. And whoever get in the way of that kind of shit pays a price, and sometimes with their life. Because people have gotten out of control. I do not get in people's love life. You do not want to do that. But if you get in mine... I'm going to show you something by Allah's permission, which you shouldn't do. Messy as hell. Now look at you, dead kind of shit. Crystal keys. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all need to get in the crystal. It'll unlock some things while you're healing. I'll listen to these. Can they create pyrite? Can they make pyrite? Or can they just go extract it out the earth? If they can't make it, and they got to go extract it and go get it from somewhere, why the fuck would you listen to them tell you that God, what God created is evil? But these are the same motherfuckers that be extra re religious and righteous. You sound crazy as hell. You can't tell me shit. If you didn't... How are you going to tell me that something is a sin and God said that everything he made was good and very good for a man's good pleasure and now you want to turn it evil because it's something in you that you don't want to deal with and now you're projecting onto God. Now you're really in trouble. Stop giving people these weird ass pieces of uh, suggestions. You better not touch them, Chris. That's of the devil. What? So you're giving the devil more credit than God? Well, you must be a satanic ass being. And you must be dealing with the devil that you don't want to deal with for real in yourself. 
And you're trying to put it off on God. You telling me a, a rock out of the earth is evil. No, you are. And knock it off. Stupid ass shit. Right. Trust your own innocence. Trust your own innocence. That is a profound ass lesson for somebody. It is very true. Anything that people tell me that is of the devil, I do not listen to them because I trust my own innocence. I'm not going to touch anything that's evil because I am not. You're not going to tell me shit about me when I know I wouldn't hurt a hair on a damn baby's head. If I have to discipline my own child that came out of my body, it's because God gave me dominion over him and he made me responsible for him. So the product that I hand back to him better be in good condition and it better be uh, whatever needs to be done that I had to do. And if the devil is on his ass, the devil going to get broke off his ass. But they ain't into abusing no damn body. Animal children, elders, nobody. And you're going to tell me I'm evil? And you're going to go spreading lies that I'm evil? No, you are. I trust my innocence. Are you guilty of something? With all this projecting shit? Air, paradigm shift. Yeah, today, 2-11 on the clock. It's an angel number. Look it up. Something shifting. Thank God. We need all the shifting we can use in this stuck ass evolution. Because people didn't want to play their part. They want to just put it on God. Bunch of sellouts. Fire. Solar plexus. So y'all need solar plexus work. Crystals will help that. Get into the citrine. It's good for the solar plexus. Anything yellow. Get into a yellow crystal. It'll help your solar plexus. It will. You just have to carry it where it's close to your solar plexus. Or you can do some form of meditation with it in your hand and directing that particular crystal towards your solar plexus, holding it near your solar plexus. Do the work. Google's your friend. Bro. Unique gifts. Some of y'all have some very unique gifts. The people that tell you are of the devil. That is so wicked. <laughs> just some of the wickedest shit, man. Ooh, they gonna get in trouble for this stuff they're doing. They really are. They in too deep. Earth star chakra initiation. Some of y'all going through some form of initiation. Uh huh. Possibly Capricorn. Where uh Sag? This is Sag watching this shit. Some Pisces. Y'all be nosy. But it be something for everybody though. Especially if it's your birth chart. I can't be mad at you, honey. Earth star. Chakra. Some of y'all need to work on y'all rope. Mm-hmm. Capricorn. Capricorn. Fear of poverty. Fear not having. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get a red. You can get carnelian. Any type of vanish snow, you can get that. You could work with the color red. I painted a wall red to work on my root to activate it so I would stop fearing homelessness because it was ridiculous. I guess I've been abused in so many lifetimes, including this one, that I don't ever want to be in the hands of other people. So homelessness, I was just afraid of it. I always want to have everything. I want to be having somewhere to stay. I got to have my own car, my own house. This and that. It wasn't about material. It was about so I wouldn't have to depend on a soul because I don't trust a soul. You see? So my root chakra issue was really be scared of being homeless. It was bad. But if I'm left in the hands of other people, they throw me in the basement or something. I ain't on that shit. You hear me? The choice to know they tried it. This lifetime and past lifetimes. Awakened awareness. The highest of kite. Y'all tapping in. <laughs> the 
Aries, what's up? <laughs> Hell no. Fur and feather friends. Oh. Some of y'all got animals that's tapped in, tuned in, turned on, like Abraham Hicks say. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all animals gonna go with me. My cat is going with me to eternity. I promised her. And then I asked a lot, like, can I do that? Like, that's what you want. <laughs> I was like, cool, man. You don't tell no cat that. You see, she came up. Uh, mommy friend. <laughs> so, if, in eternity, it, you'll have your mate and your pet. For real. If that's, if that's what you, that's your vibe. Like, man, you got to go with me. I ain't attacking no attachment issues, but, man, I love you, man. Kind of situation. <laughs> Y'all know the one, the fur and feather friend I'm talking about. <laughs> it be deep, don't it? And you got to keep your word to it because they be sticking around and see, you know. Okay, you said kind of situation. And you do get judged on how you treat animals, just like you get judged on how you treat children and other humans and all of that. Earth, all of that. Mm-hmm. So my girl going to be out. Anyway, so I, was, I cried, cried, cried. But that's what she told me. This car happened. I was crying. I told y'all that. You can't be crying over there. Nah, nah, nah. Next thing you know, I couldn't stop crying. I was like, oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And I did this. You died once. I got to do it again. Honey, you said, mommy, you got to go to the journey of holies. You got to get whole. I was like, oh, girl. Tell me something. Because um, <laughs> it hurt, right? Mommy friend, it hurt. You gotta cry. Like, okay, because this is crazy. Ass burning. I was looking like this, y'all. <laughs> cry, 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 cry. Because my girl is not here, you know? She talked to me in the morning. Literally talk. I'm like, hey, hey. Girl. She always step on my foot. And let me know she's doing this. She's a comedian. Like, literally, you can feel her paw, like, literally, like, on purpose. Like, girl, she is funny as hell. And then she get in the way where I have to step on her foot. But she said, ah, like that. I'm like, like I'm making it look like I'm abusing her people. And people was around. This thing I really did it on purpose, but she literally was jumping in front of me. So, I mean, y'all, every single day, the same thing in the morning. <laughs> she would literally jump in front of me so I can step on her step on her foot. Man, that, I'm like, but they get them little cushions. Cats got them. Who addicted to their cats' cushions? Jump things is like isotone is the coolest thing you ever want to see in your day. I'm like, I said, God, that gave you cushions. Yo, shit, come already. Girl, you got to go out. <laughs> she say, <"Arr!" laughs> I say, you the one in the way. And the next thing I know, I feel her paw stepping on my foot. <laughs> like this, on purpose. Like, you know what? You play too much. Get out of the way. No different than a child, man. These animals are amazing. We don't know what evolution will turn into as far as what animals will be able to do. But we so stuck in this weird space. But it's been a paradigm shift. Yeah, thank God. Because, honey, baby. <laughs> Harmonic flight. Some of y'all got pets. She want me to do, I got to remember this, y'all. Inshallah, I remember this. She want me to do a tarot reading on grieving pets. Some people grieve pets really bad. She want me to do. She really do. She want me to do a tarot for people so you can know what's going on with their pet. Transformation. Oh, that is so cute. Transformation. Yes. Yep. That's the end result. Transformation, journey to wholeness, marriage, ancient future. Some of y'all going to tap into some unique gifts. Untapped potential. Trust your innocence when it comes to getting God's resources. Like, what? 
You see that? Ain't somebody telling you lettuce is wrong. Like, what? So now I can't eat. I mean, if you was to listen to men, you hear me? Babylonia. You would be thinking everything. The next thing you know, you cursing God and dying around this bitch. Girl, I know you lying. No, I ain't buying it. Can you make a rock? And let me see it. I ain't talking crack rock. Kind of shit. All right, y'all. If you're feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.